What's going on guys? Crypto here and welcome to another episode of Batman the Telltale series. Last time we met Catwoman, we met the true identity of Catwoman. And now we're here uh I guess to uh see who the other person is, the like the uh the guy that was supplying her, you know, the one that it hired her, I mean. So let's go. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Hey, yeah, bet it's Falcone. Oh. Oh, shit. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Oh my god! Look at you! It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Alright, anyways, I'm also using a new mic, so if it sounds weird, uh, well, I haven't really made up, like, good settings for it, Nothing so... left to bury. Yeah. What is this? Link that with this? Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert. Not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. This is fucking gross. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Okay. Link that with... Can't link that with nothing. Canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. We could have tried. Okay, what button? Oh, I wasn't paying attention to that. <laughs> Oh my god, look at that. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. So, uh, look, I have to link this one with this over here. Pretty sure that's it. The scrap of metal is from the exploded canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. What you caused the explosion? Something someone tried to kill. There's a pallet. Mm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Um. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Well, no shit. That sucks, though. Look at all these. Look at that, man. A white rose. White rose. 
Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Yeah, if I, if I ever see him again, I am not fucking being nice to him. Fuck that. That guy's a dick. No. That bad? That bad? That, that's, a, that's an understatement. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Oh, no shit. Skyline Club. Uh, oh, there's a link to this. This man's been badly burned. But the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Uh, with the use the left stick to find the bullet. Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister, causing the aforementioned boom. What else? What else? What else? Way down there, I thought I saw something up there too. Blood, broken nails, bits of human flesh. Dude, that's disgusting. A cop shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. And then, um, that would probably connect it to. Fuck, I don't know. We're saying something around here, or like a gun of some kind. What would be the link to this? Guess I'll still investigate because I, I I don't know what could have been that link. Only I can find. Uh, there has to be something else that I'm missing. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Oh, the link. Uh, like they were driving off and they shot and then he, they got him. I think that's it. Wouldn't that be it? Like, that's everything I could investigate. I saw something. I saw something. Oh, wait. So, what was it? What was the link to this? Okay, I was right for all of them except for this. Oh, I would think the, the the link to this would be this guy, but apparently not. Like a gun somewhere. What about this guy up here? Oh, I need a lifeline. I seriously need a lifeline. I don't know. This is the tires. Unless there's like something else in there.
Wait, 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 wait. Maybe. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the scene type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. So is that is that the right link? I guess link this. Okay, I already got those. I already got that link. So maybe this. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turn grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. I have no fucking idea what he just said, but okay. Let's go. Let's go up here since this is the closest. Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. Probably over there. All right, let's see. Let's see if we got it. Let's see if we're on the money. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Okay, now what? Killing time. It still looks lit. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Alright, hold on. Let me see if I can investigate anything else. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. <laughs> My turn. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Balcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing! You, you can't make me talk! I ain't telling you, Jack. Okay, you fuck. You trying to scare a confession out of me? 
I won't break. Your bones will. Oh, this is going to be fun. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan. Or I start swinging. <laughs> Alright. Let's intimidate him first. Tell me. The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive. Had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. All right. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals is some kind of explosive. A weapon. I don't know. Balcony said he'd use them soon. Used where? That's all I know. I swear. I swear. I told you everything I know. You're an animal. You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. All right, let's disappear. Let's clean up units in the docks. Warehouse 133. I was wrong. Gonna need that ambulance, too. The hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? Batman. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Now ah, fuck that guy. That guy did not deserve it. That guy did not deserve mercy. But uh, I guess I guess it was it was it was a bad thing. But still, fuck that guy. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. Your parents didn't raise you this way, and neither did I. Look, I did wh what you had to, but at what cost? We both know how this argument goes, especially now during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject. But as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me. I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. 
Well, Offer's right. Back into the fray again. Offer's right. Shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it. But he's right. Love you, man. Love you. Well, give me a second. Sorry about that. I had to uh, ta uh, leave off my Nova Cajuns. I forgot I had them on. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... More than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. But it goes back years. Do you see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. <sighs> this is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. All right, let's see. Let me let me see my choices. Gordon can do this all privately, and could do just nothing. Like it was, it will just take a while. If I do with Vicky, then it's a possibility that I will be able to. Uh, it's gonna be produced like everywhere. So it's either everywhere or privately. So I want to I want to make it to the public because I because I needed to do to go as quickly as possible. So I'm going to give it to Vicky. Vicky showed faith in me. She cares about the truth. She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Vicky through the media and Batman by any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. I'm hoping I made the right decision. I trust her. Gordon will probably just say, like, this is wild, blah, 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 shit. This, this is big. You drop a bomb like this, th there's gonna be fallout. That not even Falcone can survive. Why give it to me, then? You don't know how much I appreciate it. You're a Wayne. You could have given it to anyone. I need an ally in the press. After handing me something like this? I'd say you got one for life. Falcone's slippery, but this is enough to hang him out to dry. <sighs> what this could do for the city? My career? I'm just wondering what the cost is gonna be. It'll be worth it. I don't know, Bruce. Falcone doesn't like bad press. If I run this story, I put a price on my head. The next time my name appears in the media, it, God, it might be an obituary. Falcone has a way of handling reporters he doesn't like. I could be putting myself in real danger by trying to expose him. Publish it anonymously. Anyone can do that. Accountability gives the media its teeth, and that's sorely lacking in Gotham these days. I always think... Crime in the city. It's a hydra. You cut off one criminal's head. Three more appear in its place. I know. Unless we kill the beast once and for all. But 
who's even capable of that. If we don't act fast, that void will be filled by someone far worse. Wouldn't be the first time. Batman's a symbol of hope, and that is better than any army. If Gotham can rally around him, right now he's just a monster of the week. It's a good thing you gave this to me instead of the police. Could end up buried in some evidence locker and not on every screen in Gotham where it belongs. Public attention. That's what brings down men like Falcone. Not a bullet. Though after my story runs, he might get that too. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drone's located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. That is so awesome. Also, I didn't think of that about the evidence locker. I didn't think of that. So it was a good idea to give it to her. Find Falcone. All right, that is just some random guy. Good point of entry. Some random guy is sitting just there. Um, uh, there's some guests. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the mafia and city council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh, <laughs> you're cute. So, uh, are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. Oh, God. Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey. I'm always his alibi. Oh, wow. What a dick. Cameras. The entire floor is under surveillance. You'll be detected as soon as you enter. No time for subtlety. Alright, so I have, to, I have to do this hard. Okay, there's a bartender. You make your round? Yeah. No broken bones. Still yelling from the last time I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burnt powder tonight. The whole city can smell it. Like I'm just like doing like just going randomly. Modern art. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, what is that? The white rose. Falcone's symbol. A red rose after tonight. Whoa! We're not gonna kill him! Uh, I don't see him. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Okay. There's a mobster. Mobster over there sitting down. A couple of options for taking this guy down.
Well, I got I got a link to that. So, Let's see. Wait, what is that? What was that? Oh, that's a link. Okay, there's another mobster here. The modern art. Wait, do I have to do it again? Fuck, I think I, I I think I canceled it by accident. Let's do this instead. You see? That looks way better than the other one. Alright, uh, who else? This one might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered out. Um, that and I guess the wall because I don't see anything else other than the stairs. But I don't want out. I think that'll kill him. And then the last. One, I don't know how they don't see this. Let's link. Him. No. Upper balcony. I'm not gonna throw him out of there because the Batman doesn't kill. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, there we go. Have you formulated your plan of attack? Better than anything. I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. Oh my god, this is going to be hard. Oh! Why? Oh! Oh, righty the fucking head. Oh yeah, it's the Batman. Oh shit, we're gonna go into rumble. Oh! I'm burping too much while this is happening. Oh shit! Dude, this is awesome. Oh, you lost your gun? Did you lose your gun? That wouldn't kill them, right? That wouldn't kill them. Oh shit! Show yourself! You got no goddamn right to be here! Uh, right there. Bye bye. Oh! Those things are sharp as shit! How about this one? Can't sneak up on me! Yes, I do actually. Oh, that worked. Get your goddamn hands off of my suit. I, you know who my lawyers are. What is that? My lawyers are. I'm a respectable businessman. Oh, that kills him. 
No, I'm gonna hit him through the TV. Stay down, Falcon. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. Oh shit. And explosives armed. Fire when ready. Fire when ready. Fire. your calling card at the docks. The White Rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? <laughs> yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it in a dead bat. What an idiot. Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals get so riled up about, they're mine, all right? Someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Gotham. Um. I guess a rest. I, I'm not gonna kill him. Spill it, Falcone, while you still can. It's the wings. They're behind all this. What do you mean? You wanna save this city? Well. The Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! What? Fire and no. smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years. But after this dramatic arrest and a stunning expose by Gazette reporter Vicky Vale, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, 
The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We've never had and never will have connections to organized crime. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built! I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die! If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Uh, uh, before I fucking just, I'm, I lost words. Let's see what we did with other people. Did you stick up for Harvey in front of Falcone? You and 63.3% .3 of players defied Falcone by inviting Harvey into the private meeting. At least it's in green. Did you provide a quote to Vicky's story? You and 90.2% of players chose to control the emerging Wayne story and provide Vicky with a quote. I don't know about that decision anymore. Did you break the, the dark shooter's arm? You and 50.4% of players Brutally broke the dog shooter's arm, ensuring that he never hold a gun straight again. I'm, I'm just going to say that. I understand that, like, it was kind of a bad idea. But still, if he was, if he would be able to hold a gun, he would have killed more, more people. I ensured that he won't be able to kill people anymore. Last, who did you give the Falcone data to? You and 30.4% of players gave the Falcone data to Vicky Vale instead of Gordon and the GCPD. Now, Vicky did have a, a point. If I gave it to the cops, wouldn't they just like send it to evidence and that's it? Like nothing would happen. Because of all the ruckus I made, I think I made it possible for the GCPD to get in there. So I'm guessing I'm for me, I'm I'm ho I'm going with the I did I did everything I could to make sure he was arrested and to, instead of just like it being like farther along the path. So I feel like I did the right decision there. And how did Batman deal with Falcone at the end? You and 82.5% of players showed restraint and handed Falcone over to the police safe and sound. Was the other option was to kill him? Or to brutally hurt him? Because if that was it, damn, like people are crazy. And there it is. I see more green, like more on my side being like... Is green like we did something good or like if I chose the other one, would it, my answers be red? That would be like a good thing to, to like know. But anyways, that's, these are my decisions that I made during the first episode, so there it is. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them.
Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. That scoop you brought me on Falcone helped me more than you could possibly know. I owe you one. I'm sure Falcone's taken harder beatings in the past. Hopefully this one knocks something useful out of him. Hell of a view! Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. I have to... distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. Man. Well, I didn't buy the season pass, so I'm just going to put not now. Man. That is some crazy shit. I'm not going to lie. Man, if all that is true, fuck. I feel sorry for Bruce, dude. Well. Well, anyways, uh, we finished the uh, first one. So. In the next episode, which I don't know when that would be because it says episode 2 coming soon. Whenever they decide to launch the second episode of the Batman The Telltale series, I will make sure to play it as soon as possible. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to give this video a like. Make sure to comment. And make sure to subscribe if you're new. Hopefully you guys uh, really like the new mic. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.